Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. I'm so sorry that this update is going up so late, but I just have not had time to film. I've been working a lot and I work during the day, so I use natural light to film my videos. So when I get home, it's pitch black and the lighting would just be crap in my room if I tried to film. And then I did film this already, but I hated the way I filmed it, so I just tossed the footage. So I'm so sorry this isn't going up on the 15th. It's going to be a couple days late and I'm so sorry, like I said, and this is going to be my Project Pam Roulette Finish 9 by New Year update number 3. I'm doing this challenge with Emily R. and Kristen or Beauty by Beautiful Disaster here on YouTube. And both are awesome ladies. I will link their videos down below. They're super nice and they're awesome project panners and they're really good friends of mine. So definitely check them out. In my previous updates, I had hit my goals or used up 7 products. So I'm pretty excited about that. But I haven't finished anything or hit my goals on anything in the past couple weeks. So I still have until the end of the year to make my goals so I want to either hit my goals on or use up nine products so it could be a mix of the two whatever so hopefully I can finish up or hit pan on whatever two products and then I'll be happy In my previous updates I finished up skimp from Urban Decay in the Naked Basics 2 palette I finished this eyeshadow and then I also finished this Maybelline Define a Brow pencil in light brown you can't click it up anymore I also finished this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and as you can see, there's a little bit left along the sides, but I really couldn't scrape it out, so that's done. And then I also finished this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Deluxe Sample, and then this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Pink Opal. So those were the five products I finished up. So I also hit pan on two of my products. So I hit pan on my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And I have expanded the pan since my last update. So I'm pretty happy about that. It's a little bit bigger. And I really enjoy this concealer. I've been using it as an eye base and a concealer. It covers up redness and blemishes pretty nicely. And I'm not sure if I'd repurchase it. I probably would in the future. But I also want to try out more concealers. So I hit pan on this. And I hit pan on this, I think, in like the first update. And then I believe last update, I hit pan on Half Baked from Urban Decay, and I just had a little bit of pan on it. So as you can see, I made a ton of progress on it. And I expanded the pan a lot, and then I also hit the edge here on the left side, so I think that's awesome. And this is a gorgeous gold shade. I really, really enjoy it. I wear it a whole lot, and I think it's perfect for the holidays. So that's what a swatch of it looks like. I think it's the perfect gold for me, and sorry this hair is being annoying. And I don't think it's too warm or too cool, so I have expanded the pan on that. And I might be able to finish this by the end of the year, but I doubt it. But I'm going to keep trying. And now for the products that I'm working towards hitting my goal on. So I still have my baby lips in Melon Mania. I actually lost my baby lips in Cherry Me that was in this project, so I can't find it. I know I had it in my pocket, and I think it fell out when my friends and I were at Bingo on a Friday night. Yeah, I know, we're crazy. But, yeah, I lost it, so I just have this one. But this is the progress on baby lips I have so far. So this was my first update whenever I put this in, and then this is where I'm at now. This is all the products that I have left. I usually use this every day. I actually put lipstick on today, but I have this underneath. So it is a really pretty sheer pink color. And it makes my lips look nice and like even and pretty, so that's what the color looks like. I might be able to get through like about half of this product by the end of the year, but we'll see. I know I won't be able to finish it. I don't know how people go through lip products so fast, even though I do go through lip balm fairly quickly, even though it still takes me about like two months to do it. So this will definitely go in a future project pan, but I don't think I'll be able to finish it in this one. Next is my Becca highlighter in Opal. So this was the intro, first update, second update, and then currently. So some of the product is kind of just along the sides, so I think it might be a little bit higher than that. I have been using this every single time I've worn makeup, so I don't know why the progress isn't consistent. But maybe it's just because I've been scraping along the sides more. I don't really know, but this is just a nice peachy highlighter. It's definitely a little too dark for my skin tone to use as a highlighter. So that's what a swatch of it looks like. Hopefully you can see the glow on my hand a little bit. It's just a subtle liquid highlighter. It's really pretty. I do mix this in with my foundation. It's a little too dark for me as a highlighter, but I like it with foundation. So that's where I'm currently at on this. And I think I can probably finish this by the finale. 
I have another cream highlighter in here, and this is my Essence So Glow highlighter, the cream to powder highlighter in Look on the Bright Side. So I definitely wore it down a little bit. So that's what it looks like. And it was definitely a lot higher, I believe, in my, like when I put, put this in, I guess my intro for this product. It was like right up here about that. So I definitely made a decent amount of progress. This is a gorgeous highlighter. It's similar to, I'd say, like, maybe how the way Becca Pearl looks. I don't really know specifically because I haven't used that. But that's what the color looks like. It is such a pretty highlighter. I really, really like it. I use this as a base for my powder highlighter or eyeshadow because I don't own any, any powder highlighters. It's really pretty, and I might be able to finish this by the end of the year. I'm not really sure yet, but I'll work on it. And I definitely am happy with the progress that I made on it so far. Next is my Next Do We Finish setting spray. In the intro part when I put this in, it was full and then it was down to here. And now I think it's a little under the black line right here. I haven't marked it just because it is black and I don't have like a silver sharpie or anything. I really like this product. I've gone through I think or four or five of this this year. I really, really like it. And it gives me a nice dewy glow. I don't think I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year. I would normally because I can normally go through these in two months. But I haven't been like overusing it I guess. I used to put it on before I put on my powder. And now I just don't do that anymore. So I definitely saved some product which is good. Because this is kind of expensive for what it is. Like it's about maybe $9 at Ulta. And usually I have coupons. But... I'm trying to save this product a little bit and not fly through it as quickly, so I just put this in there to work on it anyway. I really like this, but I'm not sure if I'll finish this by the end of the year. The next product is my It Cosmetics Black Brown Eyeliner, and this is what the color looks like. And this is how much I have left of it, so just a little nubbin left. I really wanted to finish this by this update, but for some reason I just didn't. So it's a little under this line right here that I made the third line and I really do want to finish this. I'm not in love with this eyeliner. So the first line is when I put this product in and then the first update and second update for this product. I just don't really like it. It doesn't really transfer very nicely onto my tight line which is usually how I use pencil eyeliner and it's just kind of like meh. I don't really like it so I'm looking forward to finishing this up soon. For my La Rock Pro behind the scenes eyeshadow base. This was the intro, second update, or first update, second update, and then the third update right here. So I might be able to finish this by the finale. I'm not really sure though because it's still a decent amount of eye primer. I like to use this as an eye primer and then also under my eyes to kind of prime for concealer which works really nicely. It's a nice primer but all eye primers seem to do the same thing for me as to not make my eyeshadows crease. So I don't think I'd purchase this again because I just got this as a sample. But it is a nice eye primer and it is one that I would recommend. And then the final product is this Too Faced Nude Beach Eyeshadow. So that's how much progress I made on my product. So there's only a teeny bit of it left. I might be able to finish this by the finale, which that would be awesome. It's just a nice glittery shade. It's a really, really glittery eyeshadow. And it's really pretty. I love using this on my inner corners. I've used this on my lid a few times this month. It's really pretty. So I think my goal would be to try to finish this product up by the finale which is the 31st or the 1st of January. I really hope I can finish this by the finale which I haven't decided if I'm going to put it up on December 31st or January 1st. Probably December 31st just so I can sort of start fresh in the new year. So those are all my products that I'm working on and I've completed or have my goals on seven products so I have two more to complete or to set my goals on so I think I can do that by the finale. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being patient with me while I was getting this video up. I know it took a little while and don't forget to check out Emily and Kristen's videos. I will link them down below. Thank you again for watching. Let me know how you're doing on your project pans and I love you guys. See you in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.